impress you all so that my jokes aren't as bad, but uh, <laughs> no, my name's actually Vivian, and uh, it's not a great stage name, so this is already going great. And uh, I know it's not a great stage name because when I introduce myself to someone, I freak out because I'm very socially anxious and shy. And so my name's not quick or smooth enough to say quickly and get it done because there's too many consonants in it. So I'll introduce myself to someone or someone will ask me for my name. And it's kind of like that scene in SpongeBob, if any of you guys remember, where he's freaking out and he's burning all the files in his brain. <laughs> and he burns his name file and he can't remember it. That's a real thing. I think someone might have told him about that because I immediately think, uh, do I have a name? Uh, I'll make up uh, Jane Doe. No, that's dead people. Uh, uh, I don't know. So eventually, by the time I actually get my name out there, I go, oh, my name's Vivian. <laughs> and they go, I'm sorry, what was that? And I go, did I not give them the right name? Do they know my name? And I guess wrong? <laughs> like, it's a test or something? Uh, so my name got said well, and it's not said smooth, like I'm not a cool kid. I never was a cool kid, uh, except for one time when I was in sixth grade. Uh, we had a PE class, and at the last day, everyone had PE, yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> so, uh, we had the last day of PE, we got to pick to play dodgeball for the last day, because we all decided why not beat each other's faces in before we leave. So, every day when we had PE, we had this teacher that we've had from kindergarten up to sixth grade, and she always treated us like we were still five-year-olds. And so, every dodgeball game, including this one, she would do this gallant parade out to the middle of the floor, and she'd have to remind us not to beat each other's faces in with the dodgeball, you can hit from the chin down. So she does this again at this dodgeball game. She comes out, we're inside, she's wearing sunglasses inside, like big 90s sunglasses, I don't know why, and uh, she comes out, and as she's starting to talk, there's a friend of mine directly across from me on the other side and he's kind of egging me on. He just wants me to get him out because he was a dweeb and he didn't like sports. So I'm watching him, I'm getting really into it. And as I kind of tune back into the conversation, she says, game on. And it's like a PTSD <laughs> trigger in my brain. So I chug the ball, chug, yeah, chug, sure. Chug the ball <laughs> across the floor. And as I do that, she's gallantly walking back to her spot and the ball, like a slow motion action movie, combines with her face. <laughs> and I'm in sixth grade, so I think, oh, I am now going to jail because I hit a teacher. <laughs> so she's bent over, and everyone's kind of secretly trying not to laugh because it was funny. I know it doesn't sound funny right now, but it was funny. <laughs> so she's bent over, she's holding her face, we all go to see if she's okay. And then you can tell she's crying because everyone says, oh, are you okay? She goes, I'm fine. It looked like a Russian guy got into a fight with her in the bar and just slapped her across the face because there was this big red welt on her side of her face. But, you know, so <laughs> she, she sits back up and her glasses are now broken. So now I owe her money probably. She's gonna hang this <laughs> over my head forever for these $20 sunglasses that she wears inside. And so now I think, oh, when we go back to our regular class, I'm screwed because some kid's gonna tell our teacher and I'm gonna go to jail. <laughs> so we go back to our regular class and the first kid walks in, this douchebag walks in and he goes, yes, and she just, and the ball, and the, and the face, and, and so I'm like, oh, this is great. And so I'm freaking out. But then all of a sudden this like, mob of cool sixth grade dudes start like giving me low fives and like hey you know you stick it to the man yeah I'm like I don't know why that was a good thing that I assaulted a teacher but apparently it was so that's the only time that my name's ever been said cool because I'm a nerd and I'm I'm a nerd like my entire closet is graphic tees and I'm not like the cool nerd that like wears the $400 Atari t-shirt even though he was born in 2006 and doesn't know what Atari is like most of you right now probably um, and no I didn't just wear this shirt to remind you what a bike looks like like I enjoy this shirt <laughs> um, so I don't just wear the graphic tees though because I enjoy the graphics, they're kind of a war mechanism for me. Because I think that if your thighs are bigger and perkier than your breasts, you don't get a lot of male attention. So this way I can draw the eyes up. 
Yeah. <laughs> Which is now awkward for all of us because now you're staring at me. But anyway, so um, because I don't get a lot of male attention or other human attention, uh, I talk to myself a lot. I think about a lot of different things. Um, and so I think about my image. Um, so like she called me Robin Williams because I call myself Robin Williams. Because with the amount of hair that is on my arms and face, he had to have had a love child with like a dishwater blonde orangutan or something. <laughs> There's no way that this is natural for a human girl. So uh, I think about my image, I think about women's health. Um, so girls that seem to only be sitting on this side of the room. Um, if you guys go, <laughs> sorry. If you, <laughs> if you guys go to buy a swimsuit, right? And you're in the store and you go into the changing room and try it on. There's like the, the little piece of film thing in the region to keep from sweat or whatever spreading. And I never understood why that was there because paper thicker than that doesn't even block the rays of the sun hitting my face. What is that tiny little thin piece of paper going to do from blocking whatever gets spread? Like, I don't understand why it was there. And so that stuff really ticked me off. And so when I think about something that ticks me off, I think about something that makes me sad because apparently that's what you do next is depress yourself. So I think about street sweepers which apparently all of you looking at right now definitely know what I'm talking about. Uh, street sweepers, if you don't know, is they're those things at the end of parades that come and sweep up the used heroin needles and dead body parts on the side of the street after a parade. <laughs> Some of you guys have apparently seen that without the laughs, but anyway. So they come to sweep up the street, right? And I always wondered if instead of cleaning up after the parade, they're actually the last float of the parade. So like these guys that are driving these trucks think they're model citizens and they think we're all gonna cheer for them and they're gonna be super awesome because they're cleaning up the street and we all just bolt like a nuclear explosion just went off and so now we're causing this entire population of nine people to go suicidal because the, we make them feel so bad because like I'm making all of you feel right now. <laughs> <laughs> But I, that makes me really sad to think about because those guys probably are at the end of the parade. And so now we're all going to stand there and watch them because now we feel really bad. I'm just saying, I'm, I would stay. Um, so that makes me sad. And then I have one trick that will hopefully cheer all of you up. Um, and that's microphones and football helmets. So. If the quarterback, right, let's say he had a microphone in his helmet to talk to the coach or whatever, talk about plays. So he throws a pass and he's watching the play and the audio, the perfect golden nuggets of audio that we would pick up from him talking to himself, oh, it'd be beautiful. If he just threw a pass and he's watching the play and he's talking to himself, he's thinking about stuff and he goes, is Dylan the same guy? The refrigerator. I don't. I don't. Did I turn the stove off? Like just random stuff, and it'd be super out of context, and we wouldn't know what he's talking about. So like, they're in the huddle, right? We see him on TV in the huddle, talking about their weekend plans, whatever people in sports do. I don't know. And they break up, and he's talking to himself, and he goes, "Man, it's the last hug I had since Charlene left me." <laughs> or he's talking to himself, getting ready, and he goes. I wonder why that girl with graphic tees walked by so nervously. <laughs> That's all for me, guys. Thanks.